How about here? Do we have an is? Yes. Sixties or is? Do we have an of? No. It says of what? It doesn't know. It doesn't know what what the of is. Now a percent. That's kind of one of the obvious ones. We gotta have a three right here. X for of. Uh, I need to show hands if you understand where all these numbers come <coughs> from on all four examples. Good for you. Okay. Now all of them are solved the same way. We're gonna cross multiply and divide. It's a two-step problem. So here we're gonna get. 100x equals, what's 240 times 9.4 twins? What? 2256? Then if I divide by 100? Two two five six. Now I don't know the units, this could be dollars or inches or, or whatever it is, you would put the units after that problem, it's not a percentage. You don't put a percent there. Did you get 2, 2? 0.56? Good. Okay, next one. Of course, we're still going to cross multiply. We get 30x equals 3,000. If 30x equals 3,000, we'll divide by 30. x equals 100. Yes? No. I did that wrong. No. I did follow. I, you know, I used that 3 twice. Could have been 100. It'd be 100 percent. They'd be equal numbers. That wouldn't make sense at all. 1200. 1200. 100. Is that better? Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 40 percent. 40 percent. Now 40 or 40 percent. Let's talk about that. Is it asking for a percent here? Yeah. Well, then if we don't put a percent, we got that wrong. So you need percents when it asks for them, and you can't have percents when it doesn't. So that's definitely 40%, very good. Okay, next up, again, we'll cross multiply 40x equals 2,500. Divide that by 40, and what do you get? 62.5. 62.5, and is that a percentage as well? Yes. Okay, last step, we'll get 3x equals 6,000. If we divide by that, divide by 3, that 3 on the bottom, we should get 2,000. Yeah. Is that percent? Yeah. No. Oh, no, it's not. I, I don't know what the units are. I didn't give you any units. If it would have been dollars, we'd have Would you raise your hand and feel okay finding these percents or finding the numbers based on percents? Good deal. Now, I told you we were going to get to this a little bit later. We're going to talk right now about percent increase and percent de decrease. It's kind of an important, important concept. You see, a lot of times we use percent increase and decrease without even really thinking about it, uh, especially if, you, if you're watching the news, they, they use this stuff all the time. You always see, haven't you ever seen percents on the news? They say the population has increased 20% or the population has decreased 5%. Have you ever, you ever seen those before in the news? Have you watched, do you watch the news? I don't watch the news, it's all bad news, you know? But if you do watch the news, you see a lot of percent increase and percent decrease. <coughs> 